Hello! In this tutorial on C++, I want to show you another example of the basic classes and in this tutorial I want to show you the this pointer on that uh, class. Alright, uh, let's get started with creating the actual class. As remember, we create a class uh, with the ca class keyword and the name of the class, I don't know, thing, will be thing in this case. Alright, and the code block, and you should, actually you must put a semicolon after it. Alright, because the default uh, accessibility or visibility is private, so we put our variables here because they are pr uh, they will be private variable. Although I think that you don't understand why we put uh, private this variable instead of make it public so we can use it without making a function like get something or set something or like that. Uh, let me tell you an example. For example, you make a, a clock. A simple clock, it has three variables, a second, a minute and an hour. Alright, uh, if you make functions for let like set second, set minute, set hour, in that uh, function you check that the user entered the correct time. For example, you check in case of minute then, is it between 0 and uh, 59? Uh, if so, then you just set the second, but if not, you do something like through an exception or or just set the maximum value, the minute to the maximum value or something else, you do something. And if it is private, so the actual interface and the representation of the class is separated, so the uh, use uh, so if not separated the representation so the how you actually made the class and an interface that how the users can uh, interact with that class then it could be easily happen that uh, for example a user uh, use a data directly so I mean that uh, the user will set the minute to, I don't know, 75 and that could be catastrophic to the program because it is out of range of the function that which you write for that maybe don't even consider the possibility because if the implementation so the <coughs> So the representation of the class, so actually how is it done, and the interface, so uh, how the user can interact with, it, is separated, then the user simply cannot write a uh, value that out of range, that that isn't correct, because you always check it with the set, uh, set functions, and the constructor, and everywhere. So your functions will not even consider the possibility that it could happen. And if it is happening, that something wrong with happened with your program collapse or crash, I don't know. It depends on the program you actually writing. So yeah, we should separate the interface, so the functions and maybe some uh, public variables, public variables. and. Uh, the actual uh, uh, representation of the class like the char or the variables behind it and and some functions which are used by just the function and so on for example the case in the string class <coughs> there is two variable at least two variables i'm sure there is more than two variables but in the single string uh, class which we will make in the future, there are two variables which private. One is a char array, and uh, uh, and the other one is a variable that holds 
how long the string is. So if the user could uh, directly access to this variable, then the user could uh, change, for example, the size of the uh, so the size of the array, and that will be catastrophic. Uh, you would get some segmentation error, for example, or or program crash, and so on. So that's why we use the the public and the private to separate the interface to the actual representation. Although in this simple program which we are writing uh, now, this is not really matter because we just set the value so y we, we could do it dire directly and we you do it these programs only for us, not for any other user. So yeah, these are ju just test program. But I'm sure that uh, it is the better to start it from the beginning. So, <laughs> so you always used to use this way instead of learn in a wrong way and learn it later when the actual program comes where you should separate the private and the public. So, yeah, I that's why we are using the pu public and the private. Uh, uh, visibility and accessibility from the beginning of uh, the object-oriented programming. So, then let's uh, start with making it. So this is private, but because the default uh, accessibility is uh, private too, it is the same than so to uh, delete it. Uh, by the way, you can uh, put more private and public blocks, so you can do it public, if I can type it good, then private, then oh bracket, private, and public again, and private again, so you can do it uh, in this way, so every, va uh, every variable you put, uh <coughs> what accessibility is uh, it. So, then let's start make a, I don't know, a double uh, some, oh, something like that. <coughs> okay, in the public uh, accessibility or visibility as you uh, want to call it, never mind, I never call it like that, it is just for this tutorial usually just put public and private and don't care what the name of it <coughs> mostly not in English, so uh, yeah okay uh, put it like that I okay uh, make a constructor, so thing with an empty constructor and because these are almost like normal function, you can use it uh, as overloading, so function overloading as well as in case of normal function, and you can use default val uh, values uh, similarly than <laughs> in case of normal function. So you have a thing function, the thing with a double actually you don't, uh, because this is that just the declaration you don't have to write uh, the parameter name here but you can do it it's not matter so you, it's for you right there or not so yeah we can make another just to make something int okay that should be enough then we g uh, make a setter this will be set the variable value after uh, after the initiali initialization initialization something like that okay I think you understand so set thing thing like that and uh, it with a double okay because uh, we don't have to write out because this is just a declaration we will do the actual definition after the class Okay, and get thing. Uh, okay, uh, <coughs> I forgot the return type here. 
although there are no there is no return type in case of constructors and destructors oh the destructors we destroyed the object so thing this will be just write the text just to we can see that it is there all right it will we it will return with a double so it actually return with this something all right uh, I think enough for functions oh write another void uh, write this like this okay this will be just write out the this pointer okay make the actual definition for that uh, for these so think thing so like that okay we don't do nothing else just uh, set the oh something to zero point zero all right if you don't remember this point mean that it is zero point zero so there is no need for conversion because if i write the zero this is an integer and then an automatic uh, conver conversion casting will occur to make the something to that value as you remember the member function can change the private uh, uh, variables in the class all right mm. just copy it to save a little time and this way a double d and make it equal to d all right this will wait an int i and it will make a static cast double and i <coughs> by the way uh, you don't even have to do, do this static static cast double i just uh, make it for exercise yes to don't forget there is a static cast so actually we casting from int to double this is a very safe cast because uh, double can hold anything that integer can uh, actually more it can hold much more all right and that was the constructors write it here with a command constructors okay these were uh, these were free overloaded constructor we can do any overloaded constructors actually we can set default values for that for example this will be uh, zero point so it means that if we don't write nothing in here then this will be zero uh, so zero uh, with this we should we could omit actually avoid this constructor because it is not needed because the d would be zero if none of the parameters were added passed to the function but never mind i just want to show you the overloading by the way this this were really actually needless so we wouldn't even need this or this if we set the default value so uh, we don't we shouldn't have to uh, make free constructors in this example i just want to show you that uh, it can be overloaded as a similar actually the same way as we did with normal function this is, there is no return type here so you don't have to worry about that because as you may remember the operator overloading doesn't care about the return type it's just the parameters mm -hmm. so in this case if i pre pass an integer to that thing it will cast it to a double as i mentioned we don't even need that static cast here because automatically it will cast it to a double because the compiler enough clever to do that but uh, if we set a default value then we could avoid this uh, constructor so this one constructor would need with a default value this is just an example so yeah uh, make the destructor so thing thing like that this is the destructor the uh, 